morning, Lord bless. Good to be back with you again today. We're going to be reading Nehemiah 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we'll start out Nehemiah chapter 1. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hakilah, and it came to pass in the month of Chislu, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, and Hananiah, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night. With the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest my servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the words, the word that thou commandest thou servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the palace that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power, and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear thy name and prosper. I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. Chapter 2 And it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the twentieth year of our taxes, the king, that wine was before him, and I took up the wine and gave it unto the king, now I had not been before time sad in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very sore afraid, and said unto the king, Let the king live for ever. Why should not my countenance be sad when the city, the palace of my father's sepulchres lie waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? Then the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven, and I said unto the king, If it please the king and thy servant have found favor in thy sight, that thou wouldest send me into Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchres, that I may build it. And the king said unto me, The queen also sitting by him, For how long shall thy journey be? And when wilt thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, If it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come unto Judah. And a letter unto Asaph, the keeper of the king's force, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appertain to the house, and for the wall of the city, and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me according to the good hand of my God upon me, then I came to the governors beyond the river, and gave them the king's letter. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me, when Sanballat and the Horonite, and Tobiah the servant of Ammonite, heard of it. It grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. So I came to Jerusalem, and it was there three days. And I rose in the night, and night i and some few men with me neither told i any man what my god had put in my heart to do at jerusalem neither was there any beast with me save the beast that i rode upon and i went out by night by the gate of the valley even before the dragon well and to the dung court and viewed the walls of jerusalem which were broken down and the gates thereof were consumed with fire then i went on to the gate of the fountain 
into the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then, when I went up in the night by the brook and viewed the wall, and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley, and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went, or what I did, neither had I yet, as yet, told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them that had the hand of my God which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Sambala and the Horonite and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, and Geshem the Arabian heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, What is the thing that you do? Will ye rebel against the king? Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we, his servants, will arise and build. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. Chapter 3 Then Elisha the high priest rose up with his brethren the priest, and they built the sheep gate. They sanctified it and set up the doors of it, even unto the tower of Meha. They sanctified it unto the tower of Hanel, and next unto him built the men of Jericho, and next to them built Zachur the son of Emery. But the fish gate did not the sons of Hashina build, who also laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Merimoth the son of Uzziah, the son of Koz, and next unto them repaired Meshulam, the son of Baraka, the son of Meshizabel, and next unto them repaired Zadok, the son of Bana, and unto, next unto them the Tekanite repaired, but the nobles put not their necks to the work of their lord. Moreover, the old gate repaired Jehoiada, the son of Pashia, and Meshulam, the son of Besodia, they laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, and the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Meltiah the Gibeonite, and Jadon the Merodothite, the men of Gibeon and of Mizpah, unto the throne of the governor on this side the river. Next unto him repaired Uziel, the son of Hariah, of the goldsmiths. Next unto him also repaired Hananiah, the son of one of the apothecaries, and they fortified Jerusalem unto the broad wall, and next unto them repaired Raphia, the son of Hur, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem, and next unto them repaired Jediah, the son of Harumpa, even over against his house, and next unto him repaired Hatish, the son of Hashbani, and Malkajah, the son of Harum, and Hashbash. The son of Pahathmahab repaired the other piece, and the tower of the furnaces. And next unto him repaired Shalom, the son of Halashish, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem, he and his daughters. The valley gate repaired Hanom, and the inhabitants of Zenoah, they built it, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and a thousand cubits on the wall unto the dung gate. But the dung gate repaired Malchiah, the son of Rechab, the ruler of part of Beth Sarim, he built it and set it up for the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. But the gate of the fountain repaired Shalom, the son of Kalhuzza, the ruler of part of Mizpah, he built it and covered it and set up the wall, doors thereof, and locks thereof, and bars thereof, and the wall of the pool of Shalom. Uh, by the king's garden, and unto the stairs that go down from the city of David. <laughs> After him repaired Nehemiah, the son of Azbuk, the ruler of the half part of Bethzur, unto the place over against the sepulchres of David, and to the pool that was made unto the house of the mighty. After him repaired the Levites, Rehum, the son of Benai, 
Next unto him repaired Hashaba, the ruler of the half part of Kelah, in his part. After him repaired their burden Bavi, the son of Hinadad, the ruler of the half part of Kelah. And next to him repaired Ezer, the son of Jeshua, the ruler of Mizpah, another piece over against the going up to the armory at the turning of the wall. After him, Baruch, the son of Zabi, earnestly repaired the other piece from the turning of the wall unto the door of the house of Elisha, the high priest. After him repaired Merimoth, the son of Uzziah, the son of Kaz, another piece from the door to the house of Elisha, even to the end of the house of Elisha. And after him repaired the priest, the men of the plain. After him repaired Benjamin and Hashab over against their house. After him repaired Azariah, the son of Messiah, the son of Ananiah, by his house. After him repaired Benaiah, the son of Hinadad, another piece, from the house of Azariah, unto the turning of the wall, even unto the corner, Palal, the son of Uzziah, over against the turning of the wall, the tower which lieth after him, Padiah, the son of Parash. Moreover, the Nethiams dwelt in a field unto the palace over against the water gate toward the east and the tower that lieth out after the end the ticolites repaired another piece over against the great tower that lieth out even unto the wall of a field from above the horse gate repaired the priest every one over against his house after them repaired zadok the son of emir over against his house and after him repaired also shemiah the son of shechaniah the keeper of the east gate after him repaired hananiah the son of shemiah and hanun the sixth son of zelath another piece after him repaired meshulam the son of berechiah over against his chamber after him repaired malachiah the goldsmith's son unto the place of the nethiams and of the merchants over against the gate Mifkad, and to the going up of the corner, and between the going up of the corner unto the sheep gate, repair the goldsmiths and the merchants. Chapter 4 But it came to pass that when Sanballat heard that we builded the wall, he was wroth, and took great indignation, and mocked the Jews. And he spake before his brethren in the army of Samaria, and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him, and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn the reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity, and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee, for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. The people had a mind to work. But it came to pass that when Sanballat and Tobiah, and the Arabians, and the Ammonites, and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up, and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. And Judah said, The strength of the bearers of burden is decayed, and there is much rubbish, so that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversaries said, They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the work to cease. And it came to pass that when the Jews which dwelt by them came, they said unto us ten times from all places whence ye shall return, unto us they will be upon you. Therefore set I in the lower places behind the wall, and on the higher places I even set the people after their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, being not afraid of them, Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren and your sons and your daughters, your wives and your houses. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us and God had brought their counsel to naught, that we returned all of us to the wall, everyone unto his work. 
And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servants wrought in the work, and the other half of them held both the spears and the shields and the bows and the halberds, and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. They which built it on the wall, and they that bear burdens with those that laid it, every one with one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders, every one had his sword girded by his side, and so built it. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, The work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. In what place, therefore, ye shall hear the trumpet, resort ye thither unto us, our God shall fight for us. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spears, from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Likewise, at the same time, said I unto the people, Let every one with his servant lodge within Jerusalem, that in the night they may be a guard to us, and labor on the day. So neither I nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that every one put them off for washing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord, we'll see you again tomorrow. Lord bless. Look forward to reading with you again.